We're going to have a look at why the rib cage or the position of the rib cage is important not only for our overall alignment but th that connection through our core and pelvic floor as well. And there are certain things in our life that can change how we hold um, the position of our, our rib cage, and then that has um, effects reverberating up through the shoulders, the neck, and potentially the position of the head, and all the way down through the rest of the body, down to the feet as well. So the sorts of things that can change that position of our rib cage. Pregnancy is the obvious one. Um, the, the position of the rib cage can come forwards and up, but it can also expand there as well. Um, wearing high heels can again change the how we hold ourselves through our rib cage. Holding children off to one side, holding um, bags on one side predominantly. So it all shifts where our rib cage um, sits within our body. Um, and not only does it sort of affect above and below. Remember that those shoulder blades actually sit on the back of the rib cage and they should be able to glide up and down it a little bit but their position on the back of that rib cage will influence your sort of how it feels through the the top of the shoulders the upper back up through the neck and into the jaw as well so i'll do shoulder blades on another video but let's kind of give you some analogies to work with so i often refer to the rib cage as being a little bit like a bell so i haven't got a bell but i've got a glass and a spoon and they're going to do the trick so if you imagine that you have a bell hung vertically then the dinger inside which is apparently called a sternum a client reliably informs me should just hang straight down in the middle i can't get my spoon to hang straight now but it should just hang straight down in the middle now if actually our rib cage is flaring upwards then you can see from the sign that the sternum falls towards the back of the bell. And if you think about it, quite often when we flare that rib cage upwards, we feel it in the muscles down either side of the spine. Similarly, if the rib cage goes the other way and drops forwards and down, think of that slouched posture, your sternum or the dinger in the bell pushes forwards, oh, the sun's come out <laughs> now, um, pushes forwards onto the front of the bell. So if you think about it and just slouch down, let your rib cage really depress, does that change how the pressure feels out into the wall of your abdomen and that will go down into the pelvic floor as well. So thinking about your rib cage like a bell and think where you want that sternum to actually sit. We want it to hang straight down. So if we're flaring the rib cage, sternum falls back, there's tension into the muscles either side of the spine. And so often, not often, but sometimes, if somebody's having that recurrent or persistent low back pain, and they may just be looking at that localized spot, but we've always got to look above and below it to look what could be causing that tension through the lower back. And the, rib, the position of the rib cage could be a factor there. So if the rib cage is flaring up, then the pressure will be felt into the lower back. If we're slouched, and the rib cage is, is slouching down, then you're gonna feel that into the front of the abdomen and down into the pelvic floor. So that is why, trying to dodge the sun, um, that is why the position of the rib cage becomes important when we're looking at that core and floor connection, but our alignment overall, and also for just changing um, how we look. So again, I've, I've, I've done a video before about how the way we stand can make us look like we've either gained or dropped a dress size in a matter of seconds, but the rib cage is a key part of that. So have a look, stand in front of the mirror, have a look, see if you flare that rib cage where you're lifting up through the front of the rib cage there, or whether it's often sunken down. And just play with that position and see what you feel in the rest of your body and feel free to drop me um, a message anytime with any questions.